on the field, referees checking the nets, make sure the goals are straight and uh, no holes or anything weird in there to let the ball into the side netting. And uh, we will be underway very, very soon. Change of sides there, look like uh, Detroit won the toss there and uh, they've elected to play without the sun in their eyes, which makes sense. So uh, Chattanooga having to face the, uh, the setting sun coming down over Lookout Mountain tonight. But it's a great evening, the temperature's so good right now, it's around about 70 degrees, it's very comfortable out there, uh, no chance of rain, no humidity, so it's just about right for soccer. Those of you who watch regular webcasts will know that we've played in rain and snow and thunderstorms and all kinds of strange weather here. So uh, tonight this is really about as good as it gets for April, so we're uh, very pleased about that. Fans making a load of noise. I'm really excited about this. Detroit have brought over 100 people down and uh, they are making enough noise for 200 people. And we're off. Chattanooga going back towards the defence, just uh, sizing things up, not wanting to rush it. Trying the long ball. But uh, it's uh, too long. Now for Stein Washer to take a goal kick. A lot of teams come to Chattanooga and uh, find the artificial surface a little difficult at first. You can be a little bit, bit fast for them, they're not used to it. Um, but it's, uh, it's a brand new surface put in uh, two years ago and uh, used for football and soccer and uh, generally a lot of good responses to it but it's just a little difficult to get your pace right in the first few minutes of any game. Chanuk playing a lot of deep balls here and they're headed off uh, out for an unnecessary corner there really. That was Harris heading that one away. So Chattanooga getting the first corner of the game. Deep into the box, keep pushing it away, nice punch. Good clearance. Chattanooga trying to make something out of it and uh, goes out for a Chattanooga throw, keeping the pressure on Detroit there. Chattanooga trying to give and go, looking for space, trying to find a gap. Nearly dispossessed, but uh, Hernandez puts it back in. Trying to keep the ball, keep the possession. Like something always Detroit are really flooding back and trying to push them away. Chattanooga trying to find a gap, threading the needle, and uh, Detroit taking the ball away. Dispossessed by Miller there. Green on the wing. Gives it away to Chattanooga. Back to Carrier. To Zeka. Chattanooga playing the, uh, that triangle they do in, in practice where they keep the ball between three players working well here. Trying to come into the box and failing. Nearly going out for a corner but keeping it in play. Harris clearing it. It's uh, doesn't come to anything, Chattanooga gathering it up and trying to come forward again. Ball cross, not a good cross though. Ball's out and uh, other corner for Chattanooga. See if they can make something out of this one. Space of play still quite relaxed. So they really figured each other's team out here. They're not uh, too aggressive yet. Deep corner, headed away, but not cleared. Up in the air, still loose in the box. 
But a lot of Detroit players around that one there would have pushed it back. And uh, Chattanooga playing safe. All the way back to Pelez in goal. Allowing Detroit to come out and reform and uh, reset their offside line too. Chattanooga playing that long ball across the field, which they have always done. And that's really one of their strengths is to uh, accurate passing all the way across. And a uh, third corner of the Chattanooga. Not, uh, not getting it away. The Detroit Chattanooga in there play it short. And Hernandez, no. Change their minds. Cabello is going to go for the, the regular corner. Deep in the box, who's there? Oh, did not make contact there at all. And uh, Steinwasher gathers it and says, thank you, that was easy. Let's see if uh, Detroit are going to push forward here and get out of their own half. They've been spending a lot of time. Push back a little bit. Trying for that long ball. Trying to set Lawson going, but a little bit too long. Chattanooga focusing on possession here. I think that's uh, what Coach Elliott told him when we had a talk before the game. He said, we're going to try a lot of things, but uh, possession is what we're not going to keep. We're going to keep doing that and not worry about doing anything else clever. We're going to make sure we possess the ball. And that was a ball given away cheaply by Chattanooga for a throw for Detroit there. So it's quite relaxed tonight. There's nobody really uh, going in with any crunching tackles or anything. It's... Uh, Fairly friendly so far. Chattanooga stealing the ball, trying to get free, going offside. Nicely played offside, offside trap by Detroit there. Offside. I hope you can hear the noise the crowd's making at home. It's uh, great to have opposing fans out chanting each other. A lot of times at uh, NPSL grounds you don't get that. And, um, this is more like a, a pro game where there's lots and lots of noise. And so with the Northern Guard waving to you at home, you better wave back if you can see them doing that. Detroit trying to make something of it and dispossessed. And then goes back to Pelez. Nice play down there on the line. Goes out for a Chad and throw. Not seeing too much of the teams hugging the touchline, which we see in some games. They're using the, the width of the field, which is always good to see. Detroit coming through. Trying to get something going down the wing. Be quicker than that, dispossessed by Chattanooga. First corner of Detroit, let's see what they can do with this. Pressure down the uh, far side of the field played off. Going for the long one, swinging it in, pushed away by Chattanooga very cleanly. And Chattanooga going to try and break it. Nice through ball, a little too long, and keeper able to gather it up. That was the right idea from Chattanooga. <laughs> I 
Was Adkins and Zaki coordinating down that far side. They're uh, looking like quite a great pairing together so far. Seem to be wanting to uh, make something happen down that far side of the field. Chattanooga trying to come through. Nice touch. Can they get in? Steinwasher clears. <coughs> Chattanooga coming down the far side. Trying a nice touch back to Hernandez. Can you get it across? Pushed. Doesn't take a shot. Oh, good shot. A little bit of a push there, but nothing given by the referee. And uh, Stein washed out stretch for that one. Hand has kept the ball and laid it way over the far side. Nice shot. First real action of the game so far in the 10th uh, minute. People are still coming into the game tonight. They're, uh, some people got it a bit late. I'd say we have... Uh, Four to five thousand over there, so it's uh, a good showing tonight. We'll get the official figure, of course, at the end of the game. Let you know how many people were here and uh, how many watched at home too. Nice clearance there by Sensoni. Chattanooga back in the play. And over that long ball, that's good. Is it on side? No, called offside. I thought so. Nice idea, but way too long there for uh, Cabello. He can run fast, but he can't run that fast. So, I got the mystery guest, folks. I don't know if you, uh, any of you know who El Conductor is, but uh, you may have heard of him in Detroit. Certainly, he's a famous figure in Chattanooga. But he's come down from his loft here in. Uh, Finley Stadium, say a quick hello. How are you, sir? Yeah, Simon, hello, thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much a legend in Detroit, too. I think that's safe to say. Well, that's good. Yes. How are you enjoying the game? I am. Um, you know, we've, both teams have had some chances. Uh, I think Chattanooga's had the better of it so far. Um, but uh, no, an exciting game. Uh, what's your impression, Ben? It's good. They're just feeding each other out right now. And uh, as I said, it's fairly friendly. Nobody's really going in with the heavy tackles or anything like that. So well, not uh, yet. Not, not yet. yet, but they will, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the people paid for. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Good crowds tonight, too. I was saying four to 5,000. How does it look for your uh, your perch on top of the stadium? Oh, it uh, looked very good. You know, uh, we are uh, the stadium is going undergoing a few renovations here. Uh, normally, the fans would be on the near side, mm -hmm. uh, but of course, they're redoing the seats on the near side, so we've pushed everybody to the far side. But that actually helps the viewing audience. We're getting a little bit better sound quality from the Chattahooligans and, of course, from the visiting uh, Northern Guard. Uh, but yeah, you can actually see people instead of just a bunch of empty seats or you know <laughs> TIFO and things like that on the on the far side. Oh, so. well, that's it. Yeah, people don't see the crowd as much, and it's always important to have that so you get the atmosphere and both these sides have great support so it makes the atmosphere any of their games so much fun and I'm yes. really looking forward to hearing about how it goes and we were to make the return trip to Detroit and how it is up there compared to here um, yeah yeah I mean hopefully it'll be friendly <laughs> we'll see some we, of the, the what goes on in this game may determine how friendly they are well, that's when, we, true. when we visit but yeah looking forward to seeing that because yes. uh, not all the teams are lucky to have this level of support that both these two do so oh, uh, I know yes. and they'd love to have it so this is a, a good advert for the game at this level well yeah and this is a game that I think uh, a lot of people have really wanted to see for mm -hmm. years oh uh, yeah you know there was always hope that we would meet in the playoffs but mm -hmm. it, you right. know in the years that Chattanooga would go deep in the playoffs Detroit would not and then vice versa last mm -hmm. year you right. know Detroit apparently uh, you know all was this close to getting into the finals and right. didn't quite do it and of course Chattanooga not really that close so but the powers that be got together and said you know what we're going to have not just one game we're going to have a derby we're mm -hmm. going to go do a home and home and that's what we have I think it's great yes. and hopefully it becomes a regular thing because the fans all love it Yes. And uh, it's just a great way to show off lower league, you know, soccer in America. Well, it's, yes, all, it's also shot. exciting to see oh, that... Oh, oh, offside oh, again, look oh, at that. Oh, that's not that a offside trap that they're playing is so good. But it, it's nice to see that both clubs have matured to a level that they can have these kind of preseason games. Mm -hmm. uh, typically yes. in the past, you know, you might have a, you know, a local community college team or something like that. And, it, mm -hmm. you know, not not to disparage those but this is certainly of another level when you when you have a visiting team like Detroit mm -hmm. 
uh, you know, the ticket sales are going to be a little bit more robust. People are going to take pay more uh, attention to that game, and presumably the same thing will happen next week when oh, Chattanooga yeah. visits. It's oh, not sure. going to be just you know, uh, mom and pop, you know, Michigan right. team X. It's you know going to be a legitimate national brand. So, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, we're certainly excited about that. We are too. And don't forget, if you're enjoying this, there's more soccer at Finley Stadium. We have the uh, Seattle Sounders under 23s come here. Yes, in, another in big name. Another big name. That's the second MLS team coming to play at Chattanooga, mm -hmm. which uh, some people said would never happen, but uh, here it is. Uh, yeah, well, you know, why they let those people, they put them in charge of the MLS, people who say that would never happen, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're here at the at the ground level, we're proving well, those people it. wrong. Living proof of it. And, uh, some of the, some people told me the story of the skulls for Detroit City, and that was the same kind of thing. There's living proof that people are doing things in Detroit that the city of people said was dead and full of ghosts. Okay, it's see, like, well, there's people every day coming to watch Shocker. So you've okay, got. Okay, I'm not familiar those, with the skulls. Oh, it's a great story. I assumed it was cannibalism or something. It's not cannibalism. Not not yet. Well, but, uh, not yet. No, it wouldn't surprise me. Well, I can't possibly comment on that. Okay. Uh, not well, in front well, of a family nice audience. <laughs> who does this every day and you need to keep your job I don't so I'll say whatever I feel well about. thank you that's, yeah. that's what we love about you um, but yeah the story is one of the fans told me just now that it's uh, because people didn't expect anyone to show up in Detroit to watch soccer and uh, people said there's nobody in Detroit and that city's dead and they were like wait there's hundreds of us watching soccer there's a nice ball was it inside <gasps> Oh, that's a good move for Chattanooga there. That was, yeah. Good you know. move. But yeah, so I said hundreds of people are watching soccer in what's supposed to be a dead city that's got no sports and huh. no activity. I guess we're the walking dead because we show up week after week and here we are. Oh, so okay. that's where the skulls and the bones came from. Well, there you go. So it's not from the, the TV series or just, hey, it's called Have Skulls. It's a legitimate story from when they started in 2012. I think it's a great story. No, that is great. Yeah, they're proving, proving the naysayers wrong. Well, that's it. And that's what we did in Chattanooga. FC, didn't we, when we started out 10 years ago? Oh, yes. I mean, here we are deep in uh, SEC country, and uh, yeah, the number two tenant in the stadium is, uh, you know, not football. It's, it's soccer. soccer. <laughs> That's right. So, uh, proof is in the pudding, as they say. Yep. And actually, in fact, in terms of attendance last year, I think we were the number one tenant. I think, I think so, we too. Had a higher I think so, too. Than uh, the uh, local college football team. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, not too shabby. No, I can't complain about that. Nope. Uh, so did you welcome everybody who might be watching in? To I did. I talked to the folks. Or across the globe. I always talk to the folks back home in England. Okay, good, and good. always, yes, there's, there's two watch parties going on tonight. Oh, oh nice wow. head of it. Nothing comes good of that. there for Detroit. Two watch parties tonight. Uh, one's at Axler Brewing in Ferndale, Michigan. Okay. That they're all watching tonight. And uh, one at the Ivy and Coney Bar in Washington, D.C. So we have two watch parties. Oh, nice, okay. So, uh, yeah, a lot of the folks are here, the hardcore guys, but people with work schedules or families can't always make it, so they're uh, enjoying it at home or on the web stream. Yeah. Well, so. and yeah, I'm, I'm sure we probably have um, people from all across the, the country, from different teams in the league, being interested well, in this so. game in particular. Yeah, I mean, it's great to see both teams who haven't really played that much trying and getting the game together and seeing how they're doing. I mean, it's just good to watch if you like soccer. It's just a great game to watch anyway. Yeah. So Chattanooga are trying to come through here. And if you're going to face one of these teams this year, you well, probably would want help. to do a little bit of scouting yeah, maybe. You yeah. want to do that. That's right. Oh, oh wow. Well, yeah, give them yeah, the foul you, there. You can't do that. Look at that. A little bit close to the box. So foul called on that one. Oh, All um, right. Yeah, I mean, I've got to say, you know, Hello to the folks. I know that um, Melissa and Shep are watching at home. I saw uh -huh. them earlier today, and okay. uh, I know the Hartleys are watching in England, and uh, that that they're all doing well. Up, but I'll trust you. The Hartleys in England, I've I'm not made up. I've seen them. They're, okay. they're fresh right. and blood. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> so Chattanooga with a dangerous free kick here on the edge of the box. Let's hope so. Let's see if they can do something with this. Two men on the line. Yeah. Everybody else. Ten yards, but okay. Position. Dummy. Uh, oh, nice header. Pushed away. Yeah. Defense was all over I that. I think both teams are fairly well matched here, to be honest, El Conductor. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, both teams athletic. We'll see mm -hmm. in the, at the end of the game how everybody's legs are doing, but right well, now, that's right. quick on the ball. They do, and certainly Chattanooga see again and give a lot more play for run out in the second half. Uh, there's a big, big bench over there. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill Elliott's going to be trying them all out. Uh, but also, Detroit brought four subs down on the bus. So not that many, and Pelez gathers that calm. That was a nice little, little move. So we'll see, obviously, 
I think CFC will give everybody a run out and hopefully did just right well. But, uh, you know, you do need a, a fairly good bench for this kind of game to uh, make sure everybody's not got tired legs. I mean, it's not super hot, but it is no, warm. It's, not. it's a beautiful, you know, day out mm -hmm. there. It's a, you know, it's a little warmer maybe than what you'd want, but it's not bad. For April, it's very good. So we will uh, enjoy that. And once the sun goes down, it'll be nice. And cool. Well, that's it. That's, uh, that's coming up. The second half be a little bit cooler. So nice ball of trying to try to get free again, but no, over ran, or just a little push a little too far. Miller read that one for Detroit and was able to get rid of it. So uh, yeah, the defense has been fairly solid for Detroit. I've been in being impressed so far. They have most of their regulars in defense. Some of the other outplaying players are uh, some new faces, but it's uh, it's a regular defense, and they uh, you can tell they played together before. Yeah. Well, you do wonder also with this being this early, uh, how much each squad will change because because of course neither of them has their college talent right now because mm -hmm. uh, they're still in school and the well that's it. NCAA regulations prevent them from playing during the season. Yada yada yada. Right. Right. So we have some of the old regulars here because uh, I talked to Luke Winter and John Carrier earlier and uh, David Perez out the tour the bench. Chattanooga and uh, even Sean Rutter is here to play for a friendly, but he can't play league play because of uh, the PDL. Oh, okay. So they won't be able to get on the down. field because it's not. Yeah, it's a friendly, league. right, right. Okay. And that was a quickly taken free kick, but the okay, referees yeah. calling calling that one back it was a little bit too quick. <laughs> so when we go to Detroit, we could see an, uh, a substantially different lineup there for well, them because they would have local guys who probably couldn't come on the road for this weekend, but they would be able to play a home game. Exactly, it would be in their advantage. Yeah. So uh, because it's a friendly, it's. Uh, you know, anybody who's got a bit of pedigree with CFC or with Detroit gets to play. But uh, as soon as the real league play starts, then, yeah, <laughs> not so much. So we're, uh, we're 20 minutes in and uh, no score. Both teams fairly well matched, although uh, I think Chattanooga probably had most of the shots so far. Good midfield play, but that was possessed. good. That's Williams trying to come through from the midfield. He's been quick. Working over there and feeding Harris and Zaki on that far side. He's been very good. Now, is this Detroit's first preseason game or have they already it played? It is. One? Oh, okay. They had one scheduled, but it was cancelled due to weather. Oh, so it's yeah. their first one. So again, they're a little bit unknown. Nice loose ball. Anybody? Oh, Detroit there trying to clear it. Well, let's see what Get happens. The shot and oh, oh you know, that looked good. That was we were good, saying, didn't it? it? Didn't go in. So it looked good. Saw a new house check having a crack at it. <laughs> a little bit of an optical illusion for us, but oh well. Yeah. That was very close. Man. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. From pretty far out. How far out was that? was that? Like nearly 30 yards? 35 yards. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit optimistic, but. So. Well, was, nothing was happening inside, so. Well, why not? Shot. Some of those go in. I've seen it before. So. Chattanooga bungling these right away, trying to get through again. Outplayed there, and uh, Lawson just dispossessed and outnumbered. Nice flick there from Bentley. Let's see if Chattanooga can control it here and move it down. Trying to, get trying some to space. find that space yeah. is what they're trying to do. They're playing the, the whole width of the field, which is good. Hernandez getting it over. So yeah, they're going for that ball, trying to feed it nice. Let's Can we see. get a shot He's in? Got two guys on him. Two on him. Oh, popping it over. No, 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 Bit no, no. too much on that no, one. Too much. Yeah, too uh, much. But good yeah. idea, you know. Well, that's there was it. nothing there in front of him, so why not? Right. Try to get it. Well, over a, good, a good player does that, and they always look up for space. So, and that's yeah, that's nice use of space there to use it right across the field, settle things down, and start again. Are you going to go and join the fans in a moment, sir? I will a little bit later. Um, uh, right now, I'm going to stay up here for the first half and uh, pester you for a little while great. and annoy the audience. Oh, I love that. That's yep, great. Yep. That's great. Uh, but no, later I will go down into the stands. Uh, also, we're training some new people here on the stream. So, oh, good. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, we're getting okay. more. We're, we're uh, increasing our personnel this year, so Good. that it makes it a little bit easier on on me, frankly, on a lot of these away games. If we have more people helping out, yep. it's not incumbent on me doing every single you know gotcha. section of the job. So well, that's uh, so, it. Yeah, you are everywhere. People, so I'm Let's up here face for that. it. You are everywhere. Never you something with CFC is going on, you show up. And well, like, yeah, and but you, you don't want there? it to be relying on one person, you know, because <laughs> there are frankly enough talented people that are willing to get involved and mm -hmm. and really help make things work better and that way you know it gives me more time to get down there with absolutely. the fans which i frankly i love absolutely so. so do you have an understudy for el conductor oh for that aspect no well ah, you there should have, have been one. times actually i will admit <laughs> there have been times where an emergency has happened live streaming an away game right, right. at georgia because their their setup their field is not ideal it's very difficult to stream mm -hmm. from their field right and so there have been times where uh, we've spent so much time getting set up that right as kickoff is going is when i'm flipping the switch to go live okay so i don't have time to get on my suit and go and you know and right. hang out with the fans so uh i sent my uh, nine-year-old son over dressed in my suit <laughs> yeah he was uh, love it he was a semiconductor. Okay. That's what they call semi -conductor. it. Semiconductor. That's a good one. Yeah. I like that. Well, yeah. You do what you can in an emergency. Did you yeah. meet any resistance on that? Oh, no. It was really, you know, I mean, one, Georgia doesn't have as many fans as we do, so we outnumbered their fans. Yeah, the Come on. Go. Go. No, go. No, no, no. Get there. Oh, wow. You got this foot on there. That was really exciting. Wow. It was up off their seats in the stands Very for that exciting. one. exciting. I know. Interrupted my semiconductor story. I'm so sorry. No, it's all right. Uh, no, the fans were great. Um, you know, because they, they loved it. They thought it was really cute. Mm -hmm. You know, when you can encourage hooliganism at a young age, that well, everybody's on board with that. That's something we always discuss. Yeah, yeah. Here every game. Yes. Yeah, that one trickles out for a goal kick. But uh, good move from Chattanooga. A lot of good pressure. Mm -hmm. Keeping possession and almost a goal then. So, um, yeah. looking exciting. We've played 25 minutes now on the scoreboard. So, just over half through the first half. Still no score, but lots of action. So, it's been uh, enjoyable to watch. Yeah, everybody up here in the booth looks bored. Not enough scoring going on. That's right. On my team. We better have a word about that. But they're smiling and laughing now. So, I don't know what happened. Better have a word about that. But I hope you're not bored at home. I hope not. Or in the in the bar watching wherever you are. Or in the bar, yeah. There's probably things to do. But yeah, we do appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, absolutely. It's so great to have all these people in. Nice ball that Palaz is able to up to that one. But again, just a little too far. <laughs> a little too far for Lawson to reach it, yeah. Quite make the connection. Same thing. Yeah, I mean Green and Lawson that. have combined in the past and they're combining well tonight, but uh, not quite getting that final touch on it. But it's, uh, Let's see if we can get it over here to the leading man. Yep. He's trying to get some Ross space in the middle. Park carrier looking for a shot, doesn't take it. Good defense Russell, there. Yeah. He's on him. He's not going to win. Three let him on turn. two is always going to yeah. win, but then that leaves someone exposed in the middle, which CSC is taking advantage of. Uh, nice ball across all the way across to Zeka. Hernandez trying to find space. Detroit are really closing them down well. I'm impressed with that. Yeah. Deep ball. Oh, right across the box. And yeah. that was not a good shot. <laughs> no, but, but really, we were playing for the one before that. You know, right. if we could have made that connection, then right. we would have had a dangerous shot. Absolutely. So. Oh, well. Sometimes, you know, it's that last... 10 inches or so well, that's if, it, if often, it doesn't connect yeah. that's often the case we sat in the pro game weird. and everything it's just there is that yeah. that last shot that last touch doesn't make it so those what if moments again Detroit, Detroit playing the long ball if they can get those passes a bit more accurate I think it'll be more dangerous certainly Zach is looking good in midfield good and he's breaking. feeding the ball very well but uh not getting those touches to make that final connection to be dangerous. And I'm impressed with Cabello down this side. He's really playing well. Oh, is that, is that number is two? On our yeah, side? Joaquin Cabello. He's, he's trying out tonight, and uh, he's, he's doing really well. Playing for the handball didn't get that, but didn't look stellar there. But yeah, did, you know, did it? It's a long game. He'll well, redeem there's himself. lots of chances, but he's you know he's got the right attitude. He's getting offside. He's got the right attitude to to tack.
another minute here and we'll get into the famous singing oh, of yes. Chattanooga the Future. Famous, the famous Chattanooga Future, that's yes. right, that is correct, yes, yes. I see them all getting warmed up for that. And they've been pretty warmed up for a while. I think uh, when did tailgate they spent start? several hours warming about, <laughs> yes. about three o'clock. This was a special tailgate, <laughs> yes. This one was It was a good fun. tailgate. Everybody's in a great mood and uh, everybody wanted to chat and make friends with the opposing fans. It's been very good. Hmm. And getting that crossover, but uh, Detroit, Detroit had met it and cleared it off. Wow. Chattanooga trying it again. Let's That's see, better. yeah, they're going to let us have a second shot second here. Shot at it. Oh. And great, great save from Steinwash. Got his body right behind it and held it. No yeah. problems there. No, so, their, their goalie has been good. He's having a good game. Yeah. yeah, he's having a good game. A little bit of tugging going on there. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. No harm, no foul. Yeah, that's gone out for a throw. I was expecting to see Bentley and Lawson a little deeper. They're both playing on this same side together. Well, I expect That's to see them us. both. Well, it is good for Chattanooga's defence. Well, I expect to see oh. them both playing together up front around the top of the D, not on the on the wing, but they seem to be stuck over this side. So I've heard lots of good things about them. And as a Green Lawson, not Bentley, but as a defender. But, uh, I met uh, Green's father. He's here today too. Oh, cool. And he's uh, Mr. Green's come up through the ranks and was uh, started off as a, a fan of the club, and now he's playing for them. Which is a great story, kind of like David Perez being a fan and now being a yes. player for Chattanooga. Well, yeah, I mean, this is our 10th season, so we're right. now getting to that point to where, well, we are. yeah, kids who were in, say, middle school when yeah. the team started, mm -hmm. they've now gone through high school, maybe gone through college, and now are, oh, oh right across the goal, So, Clear yeah, maybe away. they're now on their own, maybe entering the workforce or something right. like that, and so, yeah, they're maybe, you know. Well, that's it, fans who are now Fans players. who that's are cool. either going to start coming and bringing that's families, cool. Yeah. Or maybe, you know, they were younger and yep. now they're in yep. college and yep. they're ready to, to join the team. That's great. So, Yeah, 10 years. Can you believe it? I can't that's believe awesome. it. I don't know. There was just like a handful of people in the bleachers and oh, couldn't get it down. head on it, but no power yeah, at all there from Zeka. Got a touch, nothing coming not off as, it. Not as much control as you would want, but that's okay. Not as much as you'd expect from him. So... That was uh, interesting move. I'm really hoping somebody will score soon, just so that my people get more practice, like <laughs> on the scoreboard and stuff. Right. I'm, I'm a little idiot. disappointed, frankly. I gotta tell you. I'm sure the fans are too. We want to see some scores. If this thing ends zero zero, I, I'm, I'm gonna want my money back. Well, we'll see about that. I don't know if they'll be. <laughs> oh, the players are really free, free so money. yeah, I got in for free. <laughs> well, you live here. You're in your so your oh, loft yeah, above the stadium. Domain. Remember, I should, I should hey, charge rent. You charge I think that's what you're getting. At. That's yes. what it's like. Oh, <gasps> oh, 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 yes, come! Oh, yes, come. Six of the loose balls of a knot put in the net by Chattanooga. That's two chances oh, wasted. Oh, good <laughs> save from Stein Washer and Chattanooga could wow. not get the touch to finish that. Wow, that's more like Who's it. Who's that goalie again? Who's that guy? <laughs> They're good. good. Stonewasher, he's good, yeah. Is that Greg Hartley? Did Greg Hartley put on a wig? Him, yeah. Is he wearing a wig? What could be, this? could be. So, that was great. Oh. But Chattanooga should have capitalized on that and got a goal. Yeah, but no, he was wow. quick. He got in front of it, it was twice very there. Quick. He got up very off the quick. ground, that got in front of the second one. Yeah. That's what you want. Well, you do. You really do. <clears throat> I mean, we would have probably scored on like Dallas FC in that right. situation. Well, that's right. I mean, we did score on Dallas. Right. Oh, oh well. Is he on so side? He's this time. He, no, right. he's not. He was oh, so close. He was so close. Oh, he was right a few steps away. He waited a while to put that flag up. He did, didn't he? It was a bit slow with the offside flag, but uh, credit to the Detroit defense holding a line really well. Yeah. They're, uh, they're really good at that offside trap. All right, that's Bentley trying to come away, and that was a foul. That. Yeah, that was. 
Uh, yeah, no. The referee's you gotta, calling that one back. Yeah, Take yeah. the free kick properly. you got to start it at least 10 yards within where the foul Right, is. right. Oh, half an hour played, still no score, but uh, enjoyable game. Certainly good tonight. Crowd are in great voice. Yes. So, uh, tons and tons of noise. Tons of flags. <laughs> All the things we love about soccer at Finley Stadium, really. That's right. It's part of the event. Can you run that down? Yeah, Defender is in a good he spot. Can. Oh, he got it by him. Well, What's gonna he going to do? Can he get to somebody? No, no, somebody. Come on. Yeah, touch on that ball. Oh, wow. Dribbles out for a goal kick. Yeah. Close. Nice Close. series of single touch. There's nobody on the end of that last touch to put it in the net. Yeah, I mean, against a good defense, you're only going to get one good chance. Probably. Well, that's it. So, you got yeah. to take it. If you don't make that connection. Go and take it. Lawson trying to get away down this near side. Coming for the middle. And nobody there to receive the pass. Oh, we should probably mention that if you've got the chat open and you're trying to type to us in chat, we don't have it in front of us. So no matter what you're saying, we cannot hear it or see it. So if you're complaining about us, me specifically, I don't even see it. So I assume you're all just saying, great job, conductor. <laughs> Back pass here. Side. Bringing it over to the near side. Well, Detroit, yeah, trying to slow it down a bit here, and uh, so with this, are they just trying to shift it and trying to catch somebody well, out of position? They're or? focusing on possession and trying to find a gap, but uh, that's a little bit optimistic that one, and has to be cleared. Yeah, it seems like in a situation like that, in the only thing mm -hmm. you could hope for would be a complete breakdown, like somebody just right. not being in the right spot. Otherwise, that's well, going to get cleared. A change of pace can always make a difference. A good cross, nice header to clear it away. But, uh, a change of pace can make a difference to a game. Something when it's going fast, suddenly slow it down. It's a good long ball can. Chatting to get that. Oh, well, it's, it's kind of a battle. Mm. And out and again, outnumbered by the defence and well played by them. We well, had uh, like six inches on him. As well, a, that's like right. Head ball, he's not going to... Not really. Yeah. There's a huge error. So... There is uh, certainly a height difference there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he's going to jump up and get that header away from him. Oh, dispossessed. Did he win it back? No, she gives it to Detroit. Possession Detroit, throw in. Well, wait, what's going on? Somebody's whistling. Probably just a caution to somebody. I think it is. Yeah. Substitution. Oh, substitution. Oh, ah, there we go. There you go. I think uh, Jeff Atkins coming off number eight. 20% of the Detroit bench has just subbed in. There you go. That's a midfielder coming on, then it should be a Raha coming on to replace him. Oh wow, you know the names? Wow. You've done research. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I know, that's wow, good job. No. You should accept that compliment. That's great. Again, probably not going to win that header. That guy's yeah, pretty tall. Yeah, he's a very tall defender. And he wants tall defenders. And yeah. And remember when we had James Moore? Oh yes, oh, James is no. amazing. That guy. Oh. I know. Yeah. Opposing teams hated him. They did. <laughs> it was great. He certainly was. Oh, yeah. I hope James oh, Moore is pass. watching. I hope James Moore is watching. He's watching in Florida. Yes, I do yes. too. Bad pass there. Green intercepted that one, but couldn't make anything of it. But uh, a sloppy pass from Chattanooga there for sure. the far side. Nice cross. Who's there on the end of it? Is he there? He is. He's going to push it First through. time. Oh, oh no one. Goodness. There. No 
Oh, oh I'm there to touch it, it in. I saw it for a second wow. there. I thought, this is it. This is the score we're waiting on. Oh. If we got points for putting the ball in the six yard box, we'd be way ahead, but you got to put it in the net. And again, oh, still oh, trying to look in the most dangerous out of this. Um, yeah, no, I agree. So, still wanting to get that first goal. Oh, what do we got, about seven minutes maybe? About seven minutes of regulation. I don't think there'll be any injury yeah, time because yeah, no time. there's the been no stopping. Playing. They're playing soccer, they're not doing the professional well, foul thing. That, so not wasting time, so. Stretching their Well, exactly, cramps exactly. And That's that. right, and taking their acting lessons on the field, which so many do. <laughs> No. Oh, it's they, a level, no. The call on played on. on. Played on there. And here we are talking about staying on your feet. And That's we're right. And we're not for, for staying on the feet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, life is so funny. Steve, uh, Steve is right, going right. to Chattanooga again trying to come the far side. Outnumbered again. Two to oh, one. Nice yeah. cut back with a bit too much on yeah, it. Well, and let's Lawson get hold of it. Hip check right as he was going to pass that. And Hernandez so in tons right. of space. And now let's make something of it from here. Let's see what That's where he is. likes to shoot from. No, he's going to be a team player and play it back. Pop it in. Deep Maybe in the somebody box. can get up. No. Two heads on it. Bounced oh, off a Chattanooga player and came out again and ricocheted away. They both hit it, but it went the wrong way. Might have hit Hernandez's uh, I think arm, it maybe. did. Yeah. yeah. A little incidental handball, too, which they got called. Nice oh, touch on there. that's going to be a corner, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Touch out by Bentley. Gives All the corner right. away, but uh, saves the day. All right, so we'll have a set piece here right before half. Yep. Yep. In the 40th minute. Well, not right before. Yeah, right. But we've got four minutes. Right? Very it's close. Not right. We'll probably have three or four more of these corners before then. Nice touch on. Oh, couldn't make something of that. The nice back heel there. Nice. Could not make something of it. Yep, a little bit of skill from uh, Valenciano there. Very nice, but uh, didn't, didn't get the connection. Well, the defender had it marked. I mean, he didn't have much room. Right. Steinwasher really pushing his players saying get up the field he wants them to he can kick it a fair way and he wants them to get up the field and you know okay, that yeah, goes I mean, out for a Detroit throw yeah he, he wants to put them to push up I think he's tired of them so he can make the stops what do you think you want he can kick it, 50 he yards, can kick it well I don't think you want yeah he wants them to do their job he's doing his and he wants them to do theirs and go up and it is funny when you find a team where the goalie mm -hmm. doesn't take those goal kicks right and they have another guy come in and I've kick seen it. those yep yeah, well, yeah. It's a little yeah. They should be able to do both, really, but unless they're, less they're, they're, less they're injured, but uh, they should be able to do that. The one kicking the goal kicks. Right. It's a little embarrassing. Well, we've been sport here with Greg Hartley over the years, so. We are very sport. <laughs> we've got a different standard it, from other teams on that. <laughs> nice give and go there from Chattanooga. Right. And that is in the middle. Field, pushing it ahead. Got a guy Trying to get this behind. going again. Got some options. No, uh, too far. nobody there. There wasn't a great, Urgh. great pass there. Cabello trying to come up with that one and set somebody off in the box, but didn't didn't connect this time. All right, so Detroit. Oh, oh. that was sloppy. Wow. <laughs> that one slid away. Let's see if Chattanooga can yeah. capitalize. Still keep me going. Trying to get a shot in. Well. Is it there? No, not again. Again, right across the, the goal. Illusion. Wow. It looked like it that did. was going to curve right in. across uh. the goal. Wow, got, well, he got a knock on that one. I yeah. think he's okay, but yeah. the referee's checking him, make sure he's well, okay. No, he's gonna. He's they're gonna call the trainer to make sure he's, he's okay. Fine. He got a bit of a bump, but uh, nothing that goalies don't normally expect. So uh, and we get a chance to catch him. It was, it was right a good. Well, a that's, tough that's angle what a goalie should do. But uh, they do get knocked around quite a bit. This is part of the job. Well, it's been worth it so far. It's it has. He's been very good. I'm very impressed. Corner swinging in. Mm. Head of the way by Detroit. Very good header. 
That's and probably not going in. That's not going no, in. That's up in the pavilion. That's going into the beer yeah. tent. That one's way gone. Yeah, that's just so. a bit outside. There are no prizes tonight for putting it between the flags. I think that's the like. I think they're going to be turning the mezzanine area in there, uh, mm -hmm. in the stadium, into like a family okay. Chick Fil A or something. Some All right. Sponsor is going to be cool. Having a family friendly like okay. Okay. patio area. Well, that's nice. Season. That's nice. Good. So they'll have to dodge the occasional high ball, but well, they will. Apart from that, yeah, the, the occasional high ball and the occasional lost CFC fan who's looking for the beer tent, but <laughs> a different kind of high ball. Maybe. That's right. A very different kind of high ball. And Detroit. Crowding out Chattanooga there. Oh, nice touch. Oh, oh, nice back heel that nobody's expecting, and so that was exciting. Yeah. Now a long ball. Green trying to make something of it, but Pelez is stays calm and just uh, plays it out again. Both these teams may be getting a little sleepy. You know, the action's been a little. It's been good. I've it's enjoyed the game. game. I've just been hoping for somebody to finish these chances that Chattanooga are making. The chances of not finishing them. Yeah, the and, Detroit um, defense has coughed it up. Like they've twice worked, here. They worked hard. Yeah, they've worked hard. We'll see. Closing in on about 40 more seconds. So. Detroit taking the throw on the near side. Dispossessed by Hernandez. Look at that skill. <laughs> yeah, that help though, so right. To Detroit. Right. I uh, don't think we'll see much else here before the final whistle. Yeah. But a good solid first half. It's Both been a good serve. Oh, very enjoyable. Chattanooga with a few more. I think so, yeah. Oh, it's not a bit of home side bias, but yeah, on, on the shot count they've been about, been winning it. So Detroit trying to get something going, but it's not connecting. And uh, waiting for the referee to. Uh, they're going to make one last chance. I think he is. I think he's getting ready to. Nope. Oh, they're going to get calling him a, a foul, foul there. Foul. Okay, so this will probably foul be on the uh, foul on Lawson there. Last probably the last yeah last set piece of the game. Let's see here. what they've got. This is where a lot of teams shine when they practice the set pieces and to get to use them in a game. Well, Let's see what close. they've got. I wonder if the ref will let him get away with that. I think he is. He's not uh, getting the magic spray out or the shaving foam to mark the line. About two or three yards close. A little bit close, isn't it? But. So is one for Detroit, so there He's we are. It, so yeah, <laughs> Deep ball, right across, and one for the invisible man there. So, Chattanooga coming away with a goal kick. Referee looking at his watch a minute ago, and I think that's yeah, it. That's yeah, whistles. that's our okay. half time, folks. Well, this was fun. Floodlights are on, it's a beautiful evening tonight. It's cooling down a little bit, but still. In the 60s, very nice. Detroit City getting us away, playing from right to left in the familiar Rouge strip. Chattanooga FC in white with blue shorts. Second half is underway, as I said, we are nil-nil after the first half. Chattanooga FC having the lion's share of shots on goal and several near misses that uh, could have been goals but weren't, so it's still tied. So we're looking to see what uh, both teams got to uh, a talking to in the locker room at half time and uh, see if the coach told him to uh, do something different that will result in some goals for one of them but uh, fairly well matched in the first half just Chattanooga making the best of the uh, the attack I'm gonna have a special guest coming in for the second half uh, not El Conductor it'll be somebody else from Detroit FC he'll be joining me in a moment Chattanooga getting a wild shot off there a little bit optimistic but uh, going for that, uh, that early goal in the second half. So without further ado, let me introduce my special guest. Here is, all the way from Detroit City, Mr. Sean Mann. Hi, Sean. Hey, thanks for having me on, Simon. Oh, Sean, it's great to have you come down and make that long journey from Detroit. Um, I wanted to speak summary from the opposing team during the broadcast today and just get your opinion on what you think, how the game's going and how you see um, this season shaping up. 
Yeah, I mean, I would say uh, this is certainly a preseason match. Um, you know, we've got a big Open Cup match coming up in a few weeks, and uh, obviously the guys got a lot of work to do. But um, no, I mean, I'm glad to see we got a lot of talent. We got a lot of our. Uh, Top players coming back, uh, getting the run in for the first time here. This is really the first chance we've had a game mm -hmm. this season. So, right. Um, right. you know, we knew it, was, it wasn't going to be pretty. Um, but, no, uh, it, it's an exciting first step uh, for our season. But more importantly, you know, I think this is a great start of a you know, two-week celebration of what American soccer can be. Mm -hmm. Well, that's right. This is a great advert for the game at this level, at any level, really. And it uh, just shows how good it can be in the States. And uh, a lot of people I know overseas... You know, where I'm from in England, so you know, there's no soccer in America. I'm like, actually, there's tons of it, and it's really pretty good. And uh, this is a great advert for it. I know some of them are watching, even stay out late to watch in England tonight. Um, but yeah, how's your season looking for you? Are you, are you got your tea ready yet? You're still trying them out? How's it looking? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, from the front office perspective, you know, I think we did our best to create, you know, what should be a very memorable summer for, you know, our players and our supporters. Uh, you know, um, we had a great run last year, made it to the NPSL semifinals, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we look to build on that during the regular season. Hopefully, make another run in the playoffs. Beyond that, you know, we are uh, we've lined up some great exhibition matches and friendlies. We're mm -hmm. playing FC St. Pauli. Obviously, this home and away with you guys really right. kicks off a great season for us. Uh, and then, oh, another shot for Chattanooga right across the goal. Wow. As haven't landed one yet, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep trying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. And we, we've had some great teams going to play us too. And uh, we've got played the Seattle Sounders coming here uh, next month in May. Um, so another MLS team coming to town after FC Dallas came. And uh, so it's it's great to have these big teams wanting to come and play with us. And I know you want to do that too and raise the profile of soccer in your neighborhood. That's always important. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, we're excited to highlight Detroit in a positive light and do, using our club to do that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's been, we've taken a real approach to bring over international clubs mm -hmm. and it's been right. exciting to see how they've, uh, you know, really appreciate what we're doing um, and recognize, you know, the role clubs like Chattanooga, Detroit mm -hmm. City are playing in the American soccer landscape. Right, right, absolutely. Because there's more than just MLS. There's people who think MLS is it and there's a whole lot more coming in the leagues below. And uh, the football can be just as exciting. I, I follow lower league soccer in England, and I think some games that are more exciting than watching the uh, the Premiership. So it hasn't got to be a high-powered, expensive game to be enjoyable. Yeah, I mean our focus this year, and I think you know we looked at Chattanooga for inspiration in a lot of ways, but mm -hmm. it's to be a true club, right? So we're building mm -hmm. out a youth component. Right. We're building out a, an indoor facility, training facility uh, that includes a bar, or restaurant. Uh, okay. You know, we really. You know, want to be fully ingrained in people's lives mm -hmm. from the moment they kick a ball to when they start taking their kids to a game. Right. We want to be a true club. So that's right. really our focus this year is uh, kind of building off of that vision. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. I mean, there's so many small steps you can take that make a difference to a club. And we've done that with a strong supporter base, which you've got a strong supporter base too. Uh, which kind of runs itself and they, they know the club will listen to what they say and ours does too and that's that's part of it where they are the owners are more responsive than at a, at a big club and there's a chance oh a little strong that Pelez up for the job again that was an interesting move there could have led to something yeah well hopefully the field's tilted to the west like it was you in think the first so half. you that's think right. so that's, that's <laughs> one okay we always think it tilts the other way, but okay. Um, but yeah, we do things with the supporters and with the, the academy. And um, like I said, we, we have a social hour once a month and that gets people involved. You can't always make it to games. And so there's lots and lots of ways to get involved. Plus the outreach the hooligans do with um, things like decorating school classrooms and uh, getting involved in, you know, just showing up at the St. Patrick's Day March just to show we're here. Because people forget about it. I think when you have a short season like NPSL does, people forget about it when it's over yep. and it's exciting for a few months then like oh it's done and uh, it's important to keep the momentum going during the rest of the year too yeah I mean um, uh, speaking for the other owners you know in a lot of ways mm -hmm. yes in a legal sense like we're the owners of a limited liability corporation but right. you know we've really kind of under got to a point where we understand that we're really stewards of something that means so much to other people yeah that yeah, you know, we are the uh, the host of the party, and they're the life of the party, and like we really provide a platform for them to, mm -hmm. you know, make bonds and 
you know, uh, explore creativities well, and that's like, right. you know, yeah. build yeah. relationships that mm -hmm. we could never have imagined in ways. That's right. And Chattanooga does that too. The, the social fabric is important too, so, as it is in a lot of European clubs. And I'm sure you had that discussion with the folks in St. Pauli in Germany, because it's part of the social fabric of the town, right. and it has been for Chattanooga too. Uh, and we've done more things say, with the academy, with the women's team, and we're just reaching out in all kinds of ways that you wouldn't think we'd do. And it's all it's all about a positive reaction. I'm very pleased about, it. and uh, it's, it's gone very well. So this is um, really a good showcase for all of that tonight. You've got a lot of people here. People are bringing their kit, their families. And uh, people come from a long way. They might like an hour's drive from Georgia to come here, or from down from Knoxville, and they'll they'll come for that. Yeah. And so we've got a, a bigger catch than just Chattanooga. I think you have two in Detroit. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're called Detroit City. That's where we're based. The uh, other mm -hmm. owners and I, you know, we live in the city. We're committed to the city's revival, but mm -hmm. right. our fan base comes from across the region. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I know tonight and on our streams we have fans across you know North America and now you know on other sides of the oceans. Great. You know, Great. following this club. Yep. And, yep. Uh, you know, that's really means a lot to us. So we've been a part of something that means so much to so many people in ways we could have never envisioned. Yep. Yeah, and no, we we enjoy it with Chattanooga too, and it's all the intangibles that you don't expect and you're like, this is really good and people pay attention to this and you know, we, we follow our uh, alumni into their if you go to uh, pro clubs in, you know, in Europe and uh, in the States, and it's it's hard to let them go because we're the you know we're like the nursery for sure. them, yeah. and you might have that too. And it's uh, but that's but if they do go on to a pro career, it's mean we've done our good job, and that's great for Chattanooga. It's a good you know reflection of soccer at this level. Nice ball right across. Oh come on, right across the top. <laughs> So, um, yeah, have you got any messages for the fans who are at home in Detroit or watching? Um, you know, my son probably should go to bed uh, by now. <laughs> um, but no, actually, I'd love to just, you know, speak to Chattanooga fans and just, uh, you know, uh, and any soccer fans out there, just that, uh, you know, hopefully we all appreciate what really special thing is going on here this weekend and next weekend. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I think this really speaks to really what the potential of American soccer can be, and that's community-based clubs that people really resonate mm -hmm. with people and impact their lives in positive ways. Yeah, yeah, and that's something that we, we've done here too. It's uh, you, got, you can show up and start a soccer team, but you've got to have that fan base whilst it's not not as good as it could be it's it's not its full potential um and this is, this is a great example both teams are a great example of that and obviously in detroit i think especially it's it's a the thing you've needed for a while something some kind of gel for you know the areas that have been depressed down there and there's a break and chattanooga off and oh good save again you can give that guy double play stein washer is a good keeper isn't he sean <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nate's been with us for uh, a few years now, and he's had some huge games for us, right. uh, Open Cup matches, and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a real, um, yeah, um, you know, he hasn't been our goalie every game in and out, but he's always been steady for us, mm -hmm. and a real, you know, comes up big in some big he's, matches. He's done it tonight. We've, we've enjoyed watching him play so far. He's been very good indeed. Sorry. 45 there. That's a... Uh, mm -hmm. Willie, uh, yeah, he got drafted. Uh, okay, he was drafted by uh, Sporting KC just right. uh, a few months back. Okay, at an injury and training camp, and uh, mm -hmm. didn't make the squad. But you know, we're glad to host him this summer. And, sure, sure, absolutely. You know. I mean, the trick is to keep playing and not lose your touch. Yeah, that's if you don't play, it's much worse. And to play at the high standards is important to keep you fit and in good shape too. So. Uh, most of your players are American, or you got some from overseas too, like Chattanooga has? Yeah, no, we, um, right now the squad we have tonight is mostly American. Okay. Um, but, uh, you know, really, like, similar to you guys, I mean, you know, our full roster is going uh, be coming into town over the next week or two, mm -hmm. you know, gearing up around that May 1st start. So, but we probably have, um, you know, three or four guys on the pitch right now who are going to be, you know, regular starters good, for us. Good, good, good. Well, we're the same way, trying to get some old familiar faces some new blood in so we can always have to do that each season so uh, but we got we got players from all over from you know brazil and spain and england and we're a couple from france and they're just you know it's a very international melting pot which reflects the town it's very much a melting pot in chattanooga so i think that's a, a good way to you know show how the town is developing if your soccer team is diverse too it's a good thing sure. yeah no um the roster you're looking at for us right mm -hmm. now is, uh, you know, we really viewed these couple weekends kind of a trial run for, right. you know, that conversation where 
having with you know Chattanooga and other mm -hmm. clubs about how we get to a longer season and you know we have a lot of guys right. here who've already moved on to professional careers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely right. So uh, I see you bought a couple of hundred Northern Guard fans now and they're doing a great job tonight and uh, they're making a lot of noise and that's really good. Um, and we're looking forward to seeing them all on the 28th next weekend for the return match. Yep. That's going to be very exciting. No, we uh, we can't wait to play mm. play host. Right. Uh, Keyworth, it's, you know, you guys have a very special stadium here uh, with Finley. Mm -hmm. Keyworth is uh, different, but you know, I think very special in its own regard. And, okay. Uh, you know, I think it's fun that you know both clubs have had such great success, but in such right. different settings. Right. Right. Well, that's right. This is we're lucky to have this stadium. So many teams don't have that, so we do appreciate it. Yeah. So uh, we're looking at Chattanooga Seed with one of their probably going for a deep corner here. See what uh, Detroit do. They've cleared a lot of them. They, their defenders have been very strong and have cleared them all very well. Referee is setting it off. Who's there? Oh, and again, Detroit pushing out. Their good defense is good. They're very good at getting on that ball first. I think that was cleared out by Corey Miller, 26. Mm -hmm. Right. Corey uh, just ended his career with Indy 11. And, okay. Uh, just joined us. This is his first time he suited up, suited up for us. Mm -hmm. He looks like he's been there all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Ball still bobbling around, but uh, cleared again. Chandler is still trying to find that gap, trying to thread that needle and get on the goal. Look at that. Good persistence there. That's Caleb Cole. He's a real fighter. And he's uh, keen to keep playing. And oh, gets a knockdown, but referee plays on. Starting to see a bit more um, urgency in the game, Sean, in the second half, I think. Would you yeah. say that? Yeah, we came a long way. I think guys want to walk away with something. Well, right? you're yeah. a this far and for a nil-nil draw, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't at all. So, uh, that's right. So, there's a substitution, I think, for Detroit. Seeing anybody warming up for Chattanooga yet, so uh, no subs coming from that side of it. Now I expect Coach Bill will want to put some of them in to give them some playing time, but uh, the team that's out there is playing pretty well. They're gelling, I'm pleased to see that. The, even the new guys are fitting in well. But uh, I'm sure Coach Bill has other plans to see how uh, they can all do. This is also a bit of a trial for Chattanooga as well as for Detroit for trying out some new players. So uh, both sides are not quite in their final uh, final form tonight. Yeah, we have uh, three or four guys out there right mm -hmm. now who are or are trialists. They're not right. with us at the moment. Um, right. We do open tryouts. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the way we structure it is uh, everybody who signs up and pays the fee also gets a season ticket because we want them to be part of the club. Okay. Um, but you know, this year with these early games, you know, mm -hmm. really first time we can guarantee some of those better guys a chance to actually suit up in the colors and okay. uh, show themselves in front of our fans. Right. How does the weather affect you? Because you have snow much longer than we do in the north. Yeah, you know, when I was working with Sean McDaniels uh, about organizing this match, uh, the one thing I insisted on is that we have the uh, second leg. Uh, cause, right. You know, we had an inch of snow earlier this week. Really? So, <laughs> um, you know, we were supposed to have our home opener last Saturday, but right. it was uh, sleeting rain and temperature was you know, in the in the teens. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, for everyone's sake, we had to cancel the match, we, unfortunately. We've had some wacky weather in Chattanooga. We had some tryouts in the snow one year. That was uh, a bit weird, but uh, we got through it. But we've seen everything here from storms and hail and, you know, you can imagine it. Because weather in the south is very changeable. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, I know you have to deal with the snow so it gives you a less practice time. Um, but, uh, yeah, I did wonder about that. And we, last week here, it was... We had a couple of late frosts that uh, weren't good, but uh, you never know. But I know it's for you, it's definitely a factor. Yeah, um, yeah, that's why we have indoor facilities. There you right? go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great idea. So, uh, yeah, and your field is uh, AstroTurf like this, or is it uh, grass? Yes, yep. Okay. It's a, yep, it's an old field turf. Good, um, okay. Stadium has a lot of charm. It's, it was built in 1936. Oh, gosh. Like, 
It was the first WPA project completed in Michigan, so FDR actually was right. the ribbon cutting. So okay, very special okay. place that um, right was uh, slated for demolition, and thanks to our fans and club, we were able to save it and bring new life to it. That's so. very cool. Yeah. Very cool. There's a lot of WPA down here, of course, in sure. the south too, and TVA yeah. being a big part of that in the south. Uh, and we can see their building actually from across the stadium, <laughs> and that's a perfect example of that. But uh, yeah, I didn't know that about your stadium. That's very interesting. To uh, that, that's a good thing to it preserving the history. Something in Chattanooga we're doing too is preserving older buildings. The one you can see to our left, you can't see it on the on the match cast, is uh, an abandoned foundry. It's becoming like a brewery next year, and so we actually sort of knocking them down and putting in new stuff, we are trying to preserve them and keep them going too. Same thing as Detroit. I know you've lost a lot of buildings and yep. it's, there's, there's so much we could talk about, which we won't tonight right, about sure. Detroit, but it's great you're part of the regeneration. Well, we can have you on the broadcast next week and we can pick up mm -hmm. where we are. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> oh, and there it is, there's the first goal. Green, number seven. Get it over the keeper. That has made the Detroit fans go mad. No doubt you're going mad at home too. So 1-0 to Detroit in the 63rd minute. Nice little touch over Humberto Pelez there and uh, he got two chances, two bites of the cherry there, Sean, didn't he? Yeah, Roddy hasn't been clicking all night, but he certainly was persistent there and uh, it's certainly paid off. Mm. Uh, now we have a game on, I think. Yeah. <laughs> That's a fortunate score given, uh, you know, certainly how the first 30 minutes of this match started. So. Mm, right, right. So uh, this is uh, getting a very exciting next 30 minutes here. Yeah. Let's see what Chattanooga have got in reserve to this. How are they going to respond? Because they've had all the shots and none of the goals. So really on the shot count, they should be leading and they're not. So let's see if they can uh, sharpen up a bit and start making that connection with the ball. Well, thanks to Sean for coming and joining me. That was great to hear his opinion and hear a bit more about Detroit. Some of the things I didn't know about it and about the team, so very interesting. So, uh, now we got a real game on. 1-0 to Detroit. Let's see what we get next. I think the CFC are really going to go for it tonight. And they cannot sit back unless they want to go away next weekend with the deficit. And now both sides of the fans are trying to make noise and drown each other out. The Northern Guard are really making a ton of noise and the chat hooligans are responding so it's probably pretty loud on that side of the stadium. Hope you're hearing it at home. The other question, of course, if this happens is does the, the team with the lead sit on it or do they keep going for more goals? And uh, I think tonight, as a friend, they'll probably keep playing for a second goal, which means Chattanooga have to up their game a little bit. It's Hernandez being solid in the midfield, trying to set somebody off. Ball did not connect. Detroit coming away again, trying to make something of it. Getting through the defence, long ball through the green again. He's trying to reach it, just couldn't make it, and it goes out for a goal kick to uh, Chattanooga. So 65 minutes played, one nil to Detroit. Chattanooga concentrating on possession, trying to find that gap, thread the ball through, doesn't quite come off. Detroit able to clear it. Throw to Chattanooga, taking it quick. Trying to do the give and go, Hernandez. 
Finding Caleb Cole. Cole taking the shot. Well held by Steinwasher. Had to uh, take that one, take the sting out of it, and then grab it a second time. But uh, a little better from Chattanooga. Nice touch there. Playing those optimistic long balls, not making the connection. They're going to have to be more accurate than that when they feed the ball through. Yeah, it's getting a little more physical out there. This is much more interesting. And uh, that comes to nothing. Pelez gathering it. Goalkeeper to goalkeeper stuff there. Long balls that need to uh, try and focus on playing it a bit closer to the, uh, the teammates. Some of these long balls are not doing the job tonight. Chattanooga to trying to come forward on the far side. Sean sure Rugg there to clean up. get a shot in oh could have shot from there mr carrier <laughs> trying to try again trying to build trying to get something old out of this but they are being flooded over by the detroit players they're not giving them much room to turn around or to breathe here flicked in too long and offside again it's an offside trap Cabela caught there by the offside trap again. Substitute from Chattanooga FC there. In comes Santiago Moore, one of the strikers. And going for a well earned break is Zeka. Let's see if Santiago Moore can uh, do something with the ball and get us a goal. So, Detroit put it back into play. 70 minutes played so far in this game. Detroit trying to come forward. I think they're looking for a second goal there. Trying to make that gap to get through the Chattanooga defence but uh, Chattanooga picking it up and keeping going and uh, that, that breaks down Detroit trying to come forward again both midfields working very hard tonight and there's an offside flag again
Detroit trying to make something out of that free kick. Still Detroit trying to find space in the far side. Nice touch, time to shoot. Blocked by Chattanooga very well there. But, uh, Detroit making plenty of space that time. They were uh, making the most of it for sure. The referee gives the free kick towards Chattanooga. Where there's a bit of a tussle there between the players, but uh, Chattanooga getting the benefit of the doubt. And trying to get a fast free kick going. Hernandez coming through the middle. Trying to get that give and go, but it did not work again. And uh, Steinwasher gathers the ball and uh, under too much pressure there. Battle of the midfields this half. So most of the action seems to be. Detroit trying to sit on their lead a little bit and uh, Chattanooga trying to find that gap to get the shot in. Certainly makes it interesting to watch two different kinds of tactics coming up against each other. Set another substitution there for Chattanooga. Striker for striker, John Carrier coming off. And uh, Stephen Ricketts coming on to take his place. So I think we'll see some more rotation from the uh, Chattanooga bench before the game's out as everybody gets a bit of playing time. Referee having a quick word with two of the Chattanooga players there. And also we won the Detroit players, so they saw something he didn't like over there. Ball's back into play. Chattanooga trying to come forward again. Hernandez touching on that. Didn't get a good read on that one. Detroit recover the ball. And goes out for a throw to Chattanooga. Look at that mid-air flight. Caleb Cole trying to come through it, being dispossessed. Chattanooga going for the touch. Trying to keep the ball going, trying to keep momentum. Caleb Cole again, trying to find space for a shot. Did banks back down off the Detroit defender and out for a throw. Good block there from Detroit. Both teams showing off a little bit of skill down here on the sideline, but. Uh, not keeping the ball on the ground much. Nice to watch, but it doesn't lead to a lot of ball control when it's bouncing around in the air like that. Out for a throw to Chattanooga. Canoa taking the throw. Canoa's been good tonight. He's uh, trying out, seeing how he does. He's had a good game so far. And kick goes the Detroit's way into the 76th minute. Detroit still with that slender lead. Shannon trying to come forward. Still outnumbered. Trying to build something. In the box, ball was loose, but Detroit there to clear it away. Chattanooga losing possession there. Green, the goal scorer on the far side, at number two on one, and he goes down, and uh, Detroit get a, a free kick out of it. Uh, 
and uh, referee is checking he's okay I think he's uh, probably taking a little advantage of that knock to waste a bit of time crowd not enjoying that a whole lot I'm not quite sure he's as badly hurt as he makes out but I'm not on the field so the referee has the say on that Referees letting Detroit take their time and get some water. It's a long kick into the Chattanooga half. Chattanooga trying to come away with it. Trying to get the give and go working. Nearly did it, the defence way up the job there, that was well played. And it was Williams taking it off the Chattanooga attacker. Steinwasher clearing it nicely. Chattanooga trying to build up again. Trying to make a hole in that Detroit defence, but it's pretty solid so far. Once they got the goal, they really just... Uh, Sat on it. Detroit's trying to come through. Nice shot. Oh, there it is. So there we are. Sean Lawson getting the second goal. In the uh, 79th minute. So it's 2-0 to Detroit. That was a nice break out of nothing, really. And he just slipped it past Pelez and right underneath him into the back of the net. And uh, Detroit not sitting on the lead. Now they've got two goals. So both the strikers getting on the score sheet tonight, Green and Lawson. Now what are Chattanooga going to do? They've got 10 minutes to play. What are they going to do next? Detroit very happy to be two up at this point. Urgency in CFC's play now, trying to get something to happen here, but Detroit are really trying to close them down, not giving them a chance to shoot. And Detroit happy to hoof that one away to reduce the danger. See if they can last out the last eight or nine minutes of the game without conceding. They'd be happy to go home with a 2-0 lead over Chattanooga for the return leg when they play at home. And Chattanooga not able to get that final touch on the ball. Building up, but uh, not getting that shot in. Let's see if they can bring something to the far side, trying to bring the cross across there. Getting the touch, and that wasn't a good pass. Detroit able to bring it away. And referee just waiting to bring on a substitute here, but uh, indicating he's not happy about something. Looks like Detroit getting ready to bring on a substitute goalkeeper. That would be Jewett, the goalkeeper, coming in for a place Steinwasher. A little more time off the clock for Detroit.
So Matt Dewitt coming on there between the sticks the last few minutes of this game. We've got a player down the near side. Looks like Hernandez is down with cramp. So Chattanooga will have to make a substitution if he's uh, not going to be able to rejoin the play. So Chattanooga playing with 10 men right now while Hernandez gets treatment on the near side. Will Detroit take advantage of that? Being a man up. Trying to make something out of it, winning a throw deep in the Chattanooga half. Again, another throw to Detroit. Tussling on the byline going on. Now in game for Chubby FC number 28, Jared McWhorter. So Chattanooga bringing on uh, Jared McWhorter to replace Hernandez. You see Hernandez's cramp is too much. He has run very hard, so I'm not surprised he had to uh, take a breather there. He uh, always runs very hard indeed. See what McWhort has got in the uh, in the midfield there. Fresh legs in the midfield might be a good thing at this point because the midfield's done a lot of work in this game. Chattanooga going wide right across the field, trying to find that gap in the defence. Detroit trying to push him away. Runs out for a goal kick to Detroit. Which they will not be complaining about. The Northern Guard, a good voice, and enjoying the 2-0 uh, lead. Both, uh, both teams of supporters making a concerted effort to lift their teams, the noise they're making. the last five minutes of regulation and maybe a little bit added on for the stoppages for the the cramp and the player treatments but not a whole lot so Chattanooga really have to do something here if they're going to come away with something out of this game another throw to Detroit they're trying to come down this near side here slowly creeping down towards the Chattanooga goal Referent liking that high foot there and uh, giving a free kick to Chattanooga. Taken quickly and then off. Shall I come down the far side of the field, right underneath the eye of the supporters. being forced back into their own half a little bit by Detroit they're uh, not giving them room to, to manoeuvre make the plays they want to make Cole and Gano are combining well there and Detroit defence up to it again just keeping the ball away from the Chattanooga attackers
Clean tackle, referee does not call it. O'Hara complaining, but uh, not getting it. Shannon trying to come through, can they get a shot in? Blocked again by the defence of Detroit. Getting their body in the way really well there. Caleb Cole trying to get something going on the far side, still nothing. And again, Detroit able to clear it back to the halfway line. All the Detroit players in their own half now, making sure that ball does not go anywhere near the goal. Hanging on for the last three to four minutes of regulation. Actually, the last two minutes of regulation, sorry. They're uh, trying to run that clock down. back to Perez. Throw to Detroit on the far side. I've been handed the attendance figure just now and uh, tonight we were saying it was looking at four to five thousand people are the actual attendance tonight. 5,245 soccer fans here at Finley Stadium, including uh, several hundred from Detroit. So thank you all for coming. Another great figure, proving that soccer in the South is definitely well alive and breathing and doing well. Into the last uh, minute and a half of play. Chattanooga trying to get something out of this, trying to come forward. Detroit dispossessing him and a referee's calling a foul for that one. Eh, it's a little bit too aggressive. Chattanooga not quitting, trying to set somebody off. And headed away by Detroit for a corner. Playing the corner quick, headed in right through the box. And the referee. Well, I thought he was pointing at the penalty spot, but he's not. He is, he's pointing at the penalty spot. There was a foul in the box by the Detroit defence. He's going to step up and take the penalty. It gives Chattanooga a chance to get one goal back. Back on the road to redemption. Number two, Joaquin Cabello is tacking up to take this one. Let's see if he's got uh, a cool head and he can uh, get a goal back for Chattanooga. In the 90th minute, let's see what he's got. Yep, there it is. Goal for Chattanooga by Cabello. There we are, 2-1. Chano to get a goal back in the 90th minute. We've got three minutes of stoppage time added on, I just found out, so three minutes. Will Detroit hold up their lead? Will Chattanooga equalize? So three minutes of excitement coming up. Do not leave your TV set wherever you're watching from. Now they're trying to get the ball out of their own half. They are letting Detroit be all over them, but they're trying to make space to make a run. Trying to get the ball going. That's a nice little touch. Can they get the ball going? Can they get in the box? 
Trying to build something up. Can't take too much time with only a few minutes to play to go. And again, the far side of the field. Trying to get something going. Nice little give and go there. Is it too much? Too much. Too long. And it's a goal kick to Detroit, who will not rush to take that, of course. They will take as much time as they can. So a little bit of drama at the end. What a challenge we've got in reserve. Can they make it to all? Detroit trying to come forward. Good defence. Because that was uh, a dangerous looking attack there. The defence up the job. Pelez getting the back into play. No, wait, the referee is calling the game. That's it. It's 2-1 to Detroit City, folks. So the first leg of the game, Detroit come away ahead. Now we have to wait and see what happens on the 28th when Chattanooga back up to Detroit for the return half. Now that's a game you don't want to miss if you were thinking about going to Detroit. Now you've got a great reason to go and see if Chattanooga can make something of it. Even the score up. What a fascinating game. I hope you enjoyed that one a lot. That was a good game. Once it got going, there are lots of goals and lots of uh, great play. Now, if you can't get to Detroit, and you live in Chattanooga or you're going to come down here. The next thing we have on here is Saturday, May the 12th. We have the Seattle Sounders on a 23 team coming at Finley Stadium. Another MLS team coming here. And then the regular season kicks off on the week after that on May the 19th. At Finley Stadium, we're playing Emerald Force from Greenville on May the 19th. Uh, the rest of the Chattanooga season is up on ChattanoogaFC.com to see all the games coming up. But those are the next two. May the 12th, Seattle Sounders. And uh, May the 19th. The uh, Emerald Force, so two great games at the start of the MPSL season there. However, the next game you want to watch is probably the 28th up in Detroit City with the return leg of this half. So, uh, say thank you all for watching, everybody in Detroit and uh, Washington who watched and everybody else in any part of the globe who watched and enjoyed the game. Thanks for being with us tonight. And uh, I'm going to go and hang out with the uh, Northern Guard and the Chat Hooligans and uh, get their reaction to this game and uh, see how it went. So thanks for listening, folks. This has been the Chattanooga FC web stream. We're saying good night. My name's Simon Neal. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Be safe. And uh, wherever you are, have a good night and a great weekend. Thank you so much and good night.